Welcome to the Black Educated Tea Podcast. I'm your host, Makita Marie, and today's episode is Lessons from 2022. But you know, as always, before we get into the tea, let's get into the tea. So I'm actually drinking an 1111 tea, um, made by Oasis Vibes. Really, really, really good tea. Um, it kind of reminds you of like an afternoon delight tea, or it's because it's really an afternoon type tea. Um, so it doesn't have any caffeine in it, but it does have really good, robust flavors. And so, but it's, it's a really good afternoon tea, but it's some Latin Latin tea. Once again, you know, all about the abundance, all about the angel numbers. So 1111 tea by Oasis Vibes, that is what I'm drinking. Really good tea, so I suggest you try it out. And before we get this thing started, I want to clear our energy, you know, so we have clarity going here. And we are ready. So I have my singing bowl with me. You know, I love this little thing. I think I'm going to invest in getting the bigger one. But for now, this will do the job. So I'm going to go ahead and get our energy clear here. All right. So we can get this thing started. So lessons from 2022. I have so many lessons that, you know... Probably should have wrote them down <laughs> just so I can remember all the dis different lessons I've learned um, this year. And I am grateful for absolutely every lesson I have learned this year. Um, I don't look at any lesson as a bad thing. I look at a lesson as only in a positive way. Because no matter what the outcome was, what the lesson was, it was a lesson. And it was something in it for me to learn what to do, what not to do the next time. So I always look at a lesson as a positive thing. And one of the biggest lessons that I learned for this year was trust. And trust in myself, first of all. Learning to trust myself, what I want, what I believe, and and stop doubting myself. And if I made a decision, trust myself that I made the right decision. Trust myself to know that I'm guiding myself in the right direction. And just to trust myself that I got this. I got this. So trust for me was a really big thing. And then to also not put so much trust into others. That was also another big thing that I learned. To trust myself first and to not put so much of that trust into others. Because I found myself often throughout the years putting so much trust into people. And, you know, of course, you get disappointed at times. And so that's not to say that I don't trust people because I'm one of those, I, I have to. I cannot function or I cannot live if I don't trust people. Because if someone is around me, close family, close friends, there is definitely a level of trust there. So I have to trust them. And at times I may even go into a situation naive because what I do is I always give people the benefit of the doubt. And I always trust people going into a situation but then I quickly may realize that, oh, okay, I shouldn't have put so much trust into this person. And so you show me different, I'm going to trust you. You know, like I said, I get everyone the benefit of the doubt until you show me differently. And then that trust is no longer there. And once you lose my trust, it's kind of hard to get it back. <laughs> it's, it's definitely hard to get it back. And so number one is trusting myself first over anything else. And not to put so much trust into others. And another lesson for me that I learned was everybody is not rooting for me the way I am for them. Everybody is not going to support me the way I may support them. Everybody is not going to appreciate me the way that I may appreciate them. And that was also another lesson. Because I have went through the years of supporting people and you know, showing people love and appreciation and not always getting that back. <laughs> and I'm okay with that because that showed me who was there for me and who is not there for me. Who is real for me and who is not real for me. So that was definitely a lesson in itself to know that certain people I had around me wasn't necessarily the, the company I needed to keep. And... So that was a lesson learned. Everybody is not going to root for you. And you really start to notice who is supportive and who's going to root for you when you, you know, start to do different business ventures or when you start to, you know, bring your ideals in, into light. And when you really start to do things 
And especially when those things start to flourish and, and blossom and bloom and, and when those things really start to be abundant, I'll say it that way. You really start to notice who's there and who's not there because you start noticing, you know, the little snickers and the, the little talks or you start to notice a little bit of jealousy. You start to notice a little bit of things as you start embarking on different business ideas and then they, they start to do good. So when they start to do good, you notice certain people attitudes or the way they come at you slowly, you know, changes. And so for me, uh, I just, I had to learn that everybody is not rooting for me and everybody um, doesn't mean me any good as well. And I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, but I mean, there have been so many lessons. Those were probably really the two biggest lessons for me for this year was trust and to know that everybody is not for me and that's okay you know we this year especially from COVID into now there's probably so many lessons all of us have learned and like I said for me I probably should have just actually wrote them down and took the time and be like you know what yep that was a lesson mm -hmm, that was a lesson I won't do that next year or uh, you know what I may try that again because it was actually a you know a pretty good outcome but any of the lessons that I have learned and I didn't get the outcomes I expected. Now nah, I'm probably not going to do those again. <laughs> probably not, you know. Um, but that's the whole point of lessons. You know, you try something, it doesn't work out like you thought it was going to. Either you try it again another way or you just don't try it again at all. But a lesson is all about growth and learning. If you're not getting a lesson out of the things you're doing, you're not growing and you're not learning. So there have been plenty of lessons for me. And like I say, and, and just knowing that, although another lesson for me is I don't have to always be strong. That was a, another major lesson for me. You know, I always have this persona of, you know, put on my cape, I'm superwoman, I can do this, I can do that, and I can navigate and, and do, you know, 30 things at one time. And I'm like, mm-mm. For me, I, I noticed this year, I was like, that's just not reasonable at all to try to wear so many different hats and to to try to juggle it all, you know, doing 10% here, 15% here, 20% here, you know, it's just not realistic to try to juggle all these things and be like, yeah, I'm still, I'm strong, I can do it. No, no. I realized this year I don't want to be strong. <laughs> I don't want to be, you know, there are times when I'm going to have to be strong. But then there are times that I don't need to be as strong. I don't want to be as strong. You know, I, I want to just relax and, 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 and just embrace being a woman and everything that comes with it. So I'm like, I don't have to be strong all the time you know because like there's gonna be those moments especially as a business owner you there's those moments you have to be but then there's times I don't have to be so that was also another lesson for me is I don't have to always be strong I don't want to be it feels absolutely amazing to not always have to be strong or put on this persona like I'm always strong so that was another lesson for me amongst others you know, I'm still still in 2022, so there's still going to be other lessons that come along before this year is over with. And I'm just looking forward to taking those lessons that I have learned and applying them to a new year, a new day, um, to becoming a new me. That's, that's all lessons are for me, is to help me navigate through this thing we call life. And with every lesson, I do not take them for granted because it's just God's way of showing me to trust myself, to know that everybody is not for me, that I don't have to be strong all the time. So these are things he's showing me that I should have been caught on to, <laughs> you know, but it takes time. It takes time with anything because some things can be right in our face and we just don't notice it or pay attention until we actually just you know take a step back and you're like you know what yeah this was right in my face and I didn't notice and I didn't pay attention as I should have but now I'm aware 
Now I'm aware and I, and I just know that I want to do things differently. And it starts with trusting myself. I have to trust myself that I will make the best decision. I will do what is best for me. You know, I, I can't do the doubt anymore. I have to listen to my intuition. I have to trust myself. And then separate myself from those that made me no good, you know. Um, and that's, that was, that's been a difficult one for me. You know, from years, from teenager to adulthood, I've always thought I had people around me that meant good for me, you know. Because I'm like, oh, I'm a good person. I do things with good intentions. So you think everybody else is their way, and that's not always the case. And some people actually feed off that when you have a good heart and you have good intentions and you are really giving and really caring person. Some people will actually become leeches. <laughs> and because they want to feed off of that. So no, off me leeches. Um, <laughs> but no, I, you know... Those are just a few of the lessons that I learned for this year. And I know there are definitely going to be more to come before the year is over. And there will be plenty of more throughout the years. Um, I just wanted to share those few lessons with you. And then also just to know what different lessons that you learned for this year. You know, what were some of your experiences and, you know, what were some of your situations that, you know, you took the, you took the lessons from those. You know, what did you learn this year? What to do, what not to do, how to navigate through life, what you want for life, what's your purpose for life, whatever. You know, what are some of the things that, you know, you learned this year, you know, pertaining to lessons? I would love to hear it. You know, please share your thoughts, your comments, and, you know, as always, this is the Black Educated Tea Podcast.